Good morning, Colfax, and welcome back to the 16th episode of CTV's The Show. In today's show, we bring you a story about how a Colfax student adjusted to his new life after the Paradise Fires, and Sarah brings us a special play edition of Around the PVL. Welcome to the show. Hey Max, did you hear about the blood drive today? Yes, Altania. In fact, I already made sure to donate. And it's not too late for anyone still interested. Anyone 16 and older can pick up a form in the Learning Commons and check in any time before 1 o'clock. There will be drinks, snack, and a short period to relax and watch your favorite Netflix shows after donating. But don't worry, if you can't donate today, Blood Source comes to our school twice a year, so there's always next fall. The Colfax Music Department closed out their performance season with a beautiful spring concert this past week, and it is already building for next year. True Otania, the Chamber Choir and Mr. Wilkinson are holding auditions on Thursday, May 9th from 3 to 5 p.m. in the Music Room. You can pick up audition materials from Mr. Wilkinson in room 555. Don't miss the opportunity to be part of the nationally recognized choir. The devastating campfire that destroyed the town of Paradise this past November is a well-documented today. Garrett Arcan and Diego Perez brings us a story about a family that survived and are thriving right here at Colfax High School. Imagine this, you are fleeing a raging wildfire and you have to drive through this to get your family to safety. Paradise, November 8th, 2018. We woke up to an orange sky on what seemed like a normal Thursday morning. What we didn't know is in the matter of hours we'd be thrust into a living hell. The next day, no one knew if they had a home, but everyone had a gut feeling that they did not. People were at a loss, not knowing where to go, and that includes Paradise High School and, and all their students. The only thing people could do is find a temporary home, start rebuilding, or look to move away and make a new home in a new place. I evacuated to my grandma's house in Chico. The decision for my family, the Perez's, did not take long. We realized we had to leave our friends and family behind and seek the one opportunity we had, and that was to move to Auburn and start a new life. Uh, we decided that we would find a closest place to stay, and that would be Auburn. Once we were in Auburn, the first things we thought about were my parents' jobs and where I was going to go to school. We asked a few people that knew the area what high school they recommended, and only two weeks later, I landed here at Colfax High School, where I will be spending the rest of my high school days creating new memories with new people on my way to a brighter future. I'm Diego Reprez, reporting for, from my new home, Colfax High School, for CTV. I cannot imagine how intense that must have been for the Perez family and all the people of Paradise. I can say for certain we are so lucky to have Diego on the CTV team and he is definitely making a positive impact on Colfax High School. As we near the end of the school year, we also are finishing up all the spring sports. Sarah is over on the sports stage now to give us a full rundown on all the teams and their playoff status. Let's go there now. Hey there Colfax and welcome back to the final episode of Around the PVL, the spring playoff preview. We will give you the lowdown on all the playoff-bound spring teams and see what's in store for postseason play. After two big wins over the Cougars last week, our baseball team remains in first place in the PVL and has moved up in the Sac Beats Top 20 list to number 18. The team's final conference game is today at home against title contender Marysville with the PVL championship in the balance. Needless to say, that is a game you do not want to miss. Softball is also holding their own in a tough Pioneer Valley League with a 5-4 record and currently holding the third place slot. Playoffs are in reach as they are favored to win their final league game against Lynnhurst. The section will announce the playoff brackets on Friday and the Falcons expect to see their first name in the bracket for the first time in a while. Tennis successfully passed through the first round of Division 5 playoffs with a win over number 5 Argonaut but were met with a heartbreak as their ticket to the section finals came down to a last minute nail biter in the girls doubles match against number 1 seeded Del High. The team battled but came up just short. Although the team was run over there, there were still individual titles on the line. I was able to make my way to the section semifinal before the number one seed from Sonora got me. And my fellow boys doubles teammates Jake Green and Tucker Kopotic made it all the way to the final, narrowly losing to the number one seed. I am beyond proud of our tennis team and how far we have come in the last few months. Our boys golf team managed to bring home another PVL banner, the first since 2009 for a boys golf team. With a title on the line, they had to beat Bear River in the final PVL match of the season. Bear River had just beat them by 12 strokes the week before, so the stakes were sky high. 
Not only did our Falcons win, they dismantled Bear River and are now PVL champs. So congratulations, boys. The first round of divisional playoffs for our golfers were yesterday and carries on throughout today. But results were not available at time of recording. After securing the PVL banner for girls and a third place finish for the boys, the track team is gearing up for the postseason. Wednesday, the team is in Stockton for the Sac Joaquin section preliminaries where all 16 Colfax athletes are predicted to advance to the section finals on Friday. Preston Slater goes into the section meets ranked number one in the pole vault and Grace Bliss is also number one in the 300 hurdles. Aliyah McCord looks to press for a top three finish in the triple jump and or the 800 meter while the girls 1600 meter, meter relay team of Grace, Aaliyah, Leah Reese and Natalie Lundberg is ranked third and looks to bring home a medal. Good luck to all of our track athletes and congratulations on a great regular season. That is all I have for you today, tomorrow and forever, Cole Facts. Today was my final show on the CTV Sports Stage. It has truly been an honor delivering all things Colfax Athletics for the past two years. And I thank you all for the support and CTV for this truly life-changing opportunity. I will be continuing my sports journalism passions at Arizona State University in the fall, but I will never forget the most passionate ath athletes, teams, coaches, and fans right here at Colfax High School. I'm Sarah Detweiler, and I hope to see you all on ESPN Colfax. Thank you, Sarah. You have had a great run here at CTV, and you will be missed. CTV Sports would like to congratulate longtime championship JV basketball coach Randy Havens, as he is recently hired to replace section and NorCal finalist coach Terry O'Keefe and guide our team into the future. I had the privilege of playing for Coach Havens, and I know he will do a fantastic job in his new post. Congratulations, Coach. One of the best and most competitive sporting events of the year, the annual Junior vs. Senior Powder Puff game has been rescheduled. The game was originally scheduled for this Friday, but due to a surprise section track meet, all of our officials and track coaches are not available. So, the game is rescheduled for Wednesday, May 15th. Kickoff will still be at 6.30 and all students are free. Of course, the Senior Sunset and Senior Salute will follow shortly after the game to give the seniors a memorable goodbye to their last few weeks of high school. It will definitely be an emotional night for all, and I hope we have a huge showing from the class of 2019 on Wednesday, May 15th. We'll be sad to see all the seniors go, but I'm certain that it will be a great night of celebration. Colfax, that's all we have for you today, but us here at CTV would like to wish everyone good luck on their AP exams this week, and we'll see you next week. I'm Antonia Miro. And I'm Max Wolf. Take care, Falcons.